Yowza. All right, ladies and gents. That was a warm one. We've got the golden hour in the flat and we actually trained whilst that was on. Figured, nice light, you know. Fucking hell. So yoga aside, home workouts aside, gym workouts aside, today we are gonna be discussing a my macros. The highly requested or most highly requested thing since I released episode one of LSJ Shredding is this. You guys want challenges, you guys want all sorts of stuff, right? But this, over anything, over full day of eating, is the most highly requested thing. What are my macros? What am I gonna be following for the foreseeable future? Now, before we get into that too deep, I want to say these are specific to me, to my activity levels, to my current goals, to my current metabolism, all of that crap, right? These are specific to me. Do not expect to copy the same foods. Do not expect to copy the same protein intake, carb intake, fat intake, and get the same results. It just will not happen. I am completely different to you just like you are completely different to the person that is sat next to you right anything that applies to me could potentially apply to you but I cannot guarantee that it will so do not expect the same results right not that my results are gonna be mind-blowing but you get what I mean. And I also know there's gonna be a ton of questions about my uh, training plan. That will be coming very, very soon. The LSJ Shredding Plan will be live on the site, hopefully within the next seven days of you guys seeing this video. I will keep you guys updated, LSJ underscore fitness on the gram to get live updates on that. But we will have an entire separate video kind of explaining, detailing that um, kind of for the launch. I'll probably put that video live at the same time as that just kind of makes sense, right? So you guys know what you're kind of buying. But anyway, that will come soon, but for today, we're gonna be focusing on macros. So drop a like if you are excited, comment down below, subscribe. If you are new, and let's get into a package from the team first. Sick. Birthday cake, brand new bar, white chocolate peanut, brand new bar. These, to my understanding, are a little bit like mini rolls. I could be wrong. They're called pop rolls, and they look a little bit like mini rolls. I honestly don't know too much about them, but this, is the my protein Easter selection? Would you look at that inside? You get a few of new, a few kind of uh, new bits. If you guys know the Black Friday box, the Christmas box, all that kind of stuff, uh, it's essentially one of those. Inside, you get some milk chocolate Rocky Road, which is essentially a sweeter, kind of creamier version of the already existing Rocky Road uh, flavor, which is. Just a really nice kind of sweet chocolatey flavor. I love having that in my oats. Inside you also get a double dough brownie bar. You get a whipped duo bar, layered bar in the cookies and cream, cookies and cream protein wafer. And you also get a pop roll in a slightly different flavor. Is this a different flavor? White chocolate peanut, birthday cake. And yeah, this is the chocolate brownie one. So three different flavors of that. You can get all of these if you pick up an Easter box. In all fairness, a lot of you guys will probably be thinking, what's the point in that, Liam? It's just, you know, it's just some protein and some bars, right? One, you get to try all of the samples without actually having to commit to a little box, a whole box, sorry. All right, so you can try one protein wafer, you can try one pop roll, you can try a whip duo bar, a layer, you, you get the point, right? You can try all of that and a sample of this brand new flavor, which is exclusive for Easter once this is gone, this is gone. I'm not sure if they're doing whole bags of this, but if you want to try any of it, this is the only way you're gonna be able to do it. Not only that, if you are like myself and Charlotte, sometimes you want to enjoy Easter, right? But you don't wanna to feel too bad about what you're having, but you wanna have some nice Easter flavored chocolatey type stuff treats, right? You're gonna spend 15 quid on a Lindor egg or on a freaking Galaxy egg. You might as well spend 12, 13 quid on this, have like a healthy protein thing that is cool, interesting, and comes in a cool little box that you can keep and then you can just re-gift, you know? You can have multiple uses if you play your cards right. But this is sick. Thank you, team. Easter selection from my protein. LSJ at checkout. But anyway, that's enough of that. Let's move on to this MP Adapt range that I am wearing. You guys have seen it on the IG, and you're here seeing it on the YouTubes for the first time. Second time. Might even be the third. Anyway. This is, this is sick, it's really comfy, I've been wearing it every day. Anyway, macros. Let's get to the macros. So, um, I am starting off 
uh, a little bit higher than I did last year, this time last year. Uh, that's because I managed to push food up ever so slightly more uh, in the off season towards the end of it, um, pretty much allowing myself to be able to start my diet on more calories than I did last year. I would also say that I have a higher output uh, on a daily basis with more walking and all this kind of stuff in comparison to this time last year. So I believe we started on the cut at 2,300 last year. We are starting on 2,500 calories, okay? That is gonna be made up of 200 grams of protein, 290 grams of carbs, and 60 grams of fat. So how do you work that out? How do you work your calories out? Pretty much one gram of protein and one gram of carbs, that equals four calories. So 200 times by four, 800 calories are gonna come directly from protein, right? You get the gist, 60 times nine, because that is how you work out the fats. Again, you can do the math, you get the gist, it's 540 calories. And that is how I'm gonna be making up my, um, Macros. We're going to see how we go on that. We're going to see whether it works. We're going to see whether it needs changing. But I am very confident, very confident that I will lose weight and continue to lose weight on these macros for at least, at least six a month, six, seven, eight weeks, because I'm gonna be doing it very, very slowly. That's around about a two to 300 calorie deficit for myself. I don't want my deficit to be massive. I want it to be sustainable. I want it to be easy for me to kind of stick to on a daily basis. I want it to be something that, that I actually feel confident in my ability to do, right? If I was to take away another few hundred right now, it's just a little bit big of a difference and it, it wouldn't really give me that much more benefit. You know, I might lose weight a little bit faster, but I prefer to do things slowly. Slow and steady wins the race when it comes to dieting, guys. Sustainability is key. The sustainable diet. Remember the name. Generally speaking, I would say that those macros, two and a half thousand calories, 200 grams of protein, I weigh about 170 pounds, just over now. I would say that that's pretty generic, right? It's nothing special. It is nothing crazy. I'm not saying go out and do it and try it for yourself because it might not work, right? But I would say it's nothing out of the ordinary. 200 grams of protein, fairly standard. 60 grams of fat, that could potentially be a bit higher, but I prefer having more carbs, having a low fat diet, really not a problem for me. I always have low fat, uh, reduced fat cheese. Any kind of yogurts that I have, I always get the low fat version. Having a low fat diet, just for me personally, is not really, it's not really an issue, to be completely honest with you. So I always prefer to have a few more carbs. I find that I have a lot more energy when I do that. I find that my, my brain actually functions in the way that it is supposed to function. So that's what I'm gonna do. That is the kind of thing that you have to figure out and that you can kind of learn about yourself over the years of, of training and just getting to know your body a little bit better and all that kind of stuff. So with the plan, that will have an entire separate video. But for me, right now, from day one, 2,500 cows. Chocolate brownie flavor. Oh. Mm. Try like it. it. Yeah, it, oh no, I like it. It's just nothing, it's not what I expected at all. I was expecting like a mini roll. I want it 10. It's good, isn't it? Mm. You know what that's kind of like? What? Fudge. Mm. I, get that, I get that fudge taste from the chocolate. Not fudge kind of texture, but you know the chocolate on the outside of a fudge? It's kind of, oh yeah, like a fudge. You know, yeah, you know what I mean? The fudge chocolate bar, not just fudge. No, not the fudge in the middle. Like the fudge chocolate bit. No, I mean, you're not referring to not a block more. of fudge, yeah. you had any more? No, save me a little bit. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, what I mean is... Mm, happy with that. You're nice. not referring to fudge as in a piece of fudge. You're no, no, the cab Cadbury's fudge. Bar. Yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Do you think I'm allowed to say that? Yeah. Hmm. Nice. So these pot rolls, actually you can get up to nine grams of protein depending on which flavor you have. This one here is the birthday cake. I'm probably gonna try that in the next video, so stay tuned for that. I actually had a little bit of a meeting today with the My Protein team. Uh, they explained a little bit more about this. This was after I filmed the first clip saying they were gonna be like mini rolls. Pretty much, not everybody wants a 200 calorie, 20 grams of protein bar, right? So if that's not you and you want something small that's gonna give you about 10 grams of protein, there or there, well, about eight to be fair, but it's less than 100 calories, then this is the kind of bar that you'll be able to go for. Highly, highly recommend that you do pick them up. I'm also testing some clear weight samples. 
So, unreleased clear whey and all kinds of behind the scenes my protein stuff you can expect to see in the very near future. Not only that, we are going to kick off the dieting series. We're going to maybe make it into like a, a mini series. I do have an idea for a name of, of something that I really kind of um, believe in, should I say? Um, I know that sounds daft, it's just the name of something that I'm doing, but yeah. Lots of exciting stuff coming guys, and I want to thank you all so much for your support. And we are going to call it a day there, for today anyway. Next video will be live tomorrow, and then the day after, and then the day after, and then the day after that. Just pumping out as many videos as I can, you know. Wednesday, Sunday are the two guarantees, and then as often as we can in between. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, do us a massive favour. Drop us a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Together, we will grow. Please keep smashing the support. Please keep smashing the codes. Please keep smashing the links. I wish I could tell you everything, absolutely everything that is going on right now. But you'll have to wait for the proper announcement video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.